Hi guys, today we're going to speak about phrasal verbs. So first we're going to see some examples of phrasal verbs, their meaning and translation to Arabic, as well as some words collocating with. So first, that is an example, ran out. So ran out means to finish or use all of something. So when you have something that you uh, finish it or consume it and we don't have it anymore so we can use the verb to run out an example sorry to say it but we ran out of product so it means we don't have it anymore or money so sometimes uh, we find money product time water food gas oil so all these words that you can see here in this list are used with the verb to run out number two we have take after so when we say take after it means to resemble somebody okay in terms of appearance or personality so she takes after her mother or her father or his father so when there is a mother, sister, father, so etc. Sometimes we can have eyes, noise, so the body parts. Also keywords for the verb take after. Number three, we have stand for. So stand for when there is an abbreviation of something, especially some letters that are abbreviation of some certain words like here we have an example NGO stands for non-governmental organization or SOS HD NGO UM NSF VIP all these you know letters that are abbreviations of some words of foundations organizations etc we opt for stand for so stand for goes with letters okay capitalized letters number four we have find out or figure out which mean the same as to discover or understand or deduce something so one example I need to find out how it works sometimes something that you want to know how these things are working okay so we use find out so whenever you have a reason secret cause or why when this uh, kind of wh words so we usually go and choose find out or figure out number five we have take out so take out means to take food outside home or sometimes you invite somebody to take food or to have lunch with you so here in this case we use the verb take out so uh, you can see here there is an example let's take the food out and have fun so we take the food outside home somewhere in a restaurant or something like this and we enjoy so here we have a family enjoying their time together outside home so whenever you find food meal dinner lunch someone we usually choose take out because we take food out we take a meal out we take dinner out etc number six we have to bring about so bring about means cause something to happen um, here we have an example smoking bring about cancer so when there is the X and the Y so something is the cause of something else or results in something else we usually choose bring about so whenever there is a problem or problems change health problems like cancer asthma etc so we use a bring about so this phrasal verb 
usually goes with problems, change, etc. Number seven, we have to set up what? To establish, to establish uh, for example, a new club inside the school. So uh, we have business, business, we usually set up a business, a company, a club, foundation, new. So a new is another key term that we can find uh, with set up or go hand in hand with set up. Association, organization, and so on and so forth. So let's go to practice. Fill in the blanks with write out, take after, stand for, find out, take out, bring about, set up. So the first thing that you're going to do is to try to analyze the sentence, okay, and find the keywords or the signal words that enables you to choose one of these phrasal verbs. So I advise you first to scan the last part, okay? If you don't find it, you can go to the first part. So usually the keywords are found here in this part, usually. So take some time, guys, and try to analyze the sentence or the sentences and find the suitable phrasal verbs. Let's go to practice now, guys. I'm going to give you some hints. So run out. We have it with money, product, time, water, food, gas, oil. Take after, stand for, take out, bring about, set up, and find out. So number one, let's analyze this sentence, okay? Uh, the new president must change in the healthcare system. So let's start from here. We have a change. So a change is a keyword that you can find here in this list. So change, we usually find it with bring about. So in this case, we have to choose bring about. Number two, we have product as a keyword so product usually goes with run out so here we have it product so we choose run out so product goes with run out number three we have our mother so our mother is a family member that we usually use it when there is uh you know somebody looks like someone okay so here in this case we choose take after so here we have take after and we have a mother so mother usually goes with take after number four very important person uh so we go back and then we have a VIP. So VIP, these letters stand for something. So here we have to choose stand for because here we have a VIP, these letters that stands for very important person. So V is very, I is important, P is a person. So here we have to choose stand for. Number five, the new investor would like to some business. So here we have the business. Okay, so we usually find a business with what? With set up. And number six, we have the reason why it is not working. So we have the reason as well as we have why. The reason and why we usually choose when there is a find out. So find out and the reason go hand in hand. And the last one, let me 
you to dinner so here we have dinner so uh, we're gonna choose what take out because this is the last one so here we have meal someone food lunch and dinner so dinner is the key term to choose take out so usually take out is a separated phrasal verb okay there is a subject behind take and out I hope that you enjoyed learning this kind of phrasal verbs and you have no difficulty in terms of memorizing them so what you've got to do is try to memorize the keywords that go hand in hand with certain phrasal verbs